Good afternoon. I'm out here on my porch in Annapolis, which is my favorite place to spend my Sabbath. I hope you're having a blessed Sabbath too. So today is Psalm 68, and in it we have a powerful word of God, and he says he will crush the head of our enemy. Let's pray as we read this that God would crush the head of the coronavirus, that no one else would be allowed to suffer or die. So let's read it. It says this, sing to God, praise his name, exalt the rider of the clouds, rejoice before him whose name is the Lord. Blessed be the Lord day by day. God, our salvation, who carries us. Our God is a God who saves. Escape from death is the Lord God's. God will crush the head of our enemies. All right, so let's pray that. Let's pray now that the Lord would be our salvation and that he would crush the head of our enemies, meaning all that is here to harm us, death, disease, the coronavirus, and that no one else would suffer from this terrible disease. So let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, we pray now this powerful, powerful, powerful prayer of David that you would come and crush the head of the enemy. And now, Lord, you know that our enemy is the coronavirus. So we ask that you would come and do your mighty work. And we know, Lord, it's by your grace that in your name, you are mighty to save and you are our salvation. In you, we find life and in you is the escape of death. So Lord, we take refuge in you and in your powerful name. We praise you, Lord God. Come, we pray. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Don't get discouraged or fearful. Read Psalm 68. Ask God to come and crush those fears and crush the enemy and be encouraged by the word. God bless you.